Yeah, guys, I think that automatons are actually taking over um, our Red Studios because I cannot believe my eyes. No, this is, oh man, this is such a, this is such an anti-democratic statement. You know, <laughs> I was, I mean, I, I wasn't expecting this to come from Helldivers 2. Um, Helldivers 2 is my favorite game of the year to this date. You know, I think this is the best game we have this year. I mean, at least among the ones I played, you know, of course. But for me, to this date, it is my favorite game of this year, right? I just love Helldivers. I was a fan of the first one, too. So, yeah, I mean, you guys can imagine how much I care about Helldivers 2 and how much I like it. Let's take a quick read. Um, Yeah, they posted it May 3rd. Oh, there's account linking up a lot account linking up the Attention how divers due to technical issues. The launch how divers too. Uh, at, at the launch how divers too, we allowed the linking requirements for a Steam account to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily uh, optional. The grace period will now expire. See details below this post. Um, so yeah, I mean, basically now if you wanna play Helldivers 2 on PC through Steam. You have to have a PSN account, a PlayStation Network account, and link it to your Steam account. Yeah, I think that it is. People are not happy with this. Definitely not. Um, you can see in the comments that it's a comment section that, you know, um, PlayStation holding back of gamers again. Yes. I mean, Sony just made that um, censorship uh, move against Stellar Blade. You know, they just did that. Like... A week ago right and now they are doing this it doesn't surprise me you know but i mean still it sucks you know so yeah people are not happy with this of course they are not uh yeah that's the worst gear um yeah uh kyle <laughs> taking over taking over the team dj Corba, jeremy checking possible ratio yeah talking about ratio i'm sorry hell dive is true but you guys just got ratioed by me. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding, you know. But anyway, yeah, people are not happy with this. And of course, it isn't only about, you know, it isn't only because um, people have to create PSN accounts. I mean, I have a PlayStation account. So for me, my, I mean, speaking about myself, this isn't, you know, a huge issue. But I see the problem with this, you know. I mean, it's still... It sucks because the game was working without the necessity of linking our accounts. So why is it now? You know, I mean, and that's not the only problem. Uh, there's also this situation. There are people on Reddit, you know, explaining more about this. Uh, because people ask why some other complain about the PSN linking. Uh, well, of testing, okay, we're not going to read everything. But PSN is available in 69 countries around the world. Right now, there are um, 190 independent countries in the world. Oh, Africa, okay, Egypt, European countries, all right. Oh, yeah, so that's, I mean, the whole of Africa, except of South Africa, Egypt, and even European countries like Belarus don't have PSN, right? You guys got it? But there are many states that don't have far laws, yada, yada, yada. The Baltics states that are part of the European Union are also excluded. These people cannot create accounts. If your country is not on the list, try to create an account in the sport region. But remember, Sony has the right to ban you for false credentials. You need a VPN and must pay the currency of the country you choose. So, that's that sucks, man. That sucks. Imagine finding yourself in a situation like this. Imagine finding yourself... Um, Hey, uh, you just got from home from your work. You just want to get into your PC and calling your buddies to play some games. And you guys just want to spread, manage democracy, you know, and fight for freedom together and have fun until you guys get tired. And now you guys can, I mean, imagine you you, you being in, in the situation where suddenly you cannot, uh, you cannot do this again. I mean, you, 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 unless you create a new account, but you don't know, you don't really know how to create this new account because it isn't available in your country. So you have to use a VPN. You have to search about things you are not familiar with. You just wanted to play the game you bought and paid for it. This sucks, man. This sucks, you know? Uh, yeah, and there's this um, thread created by Master of the TDS. 
Uh, such an amazing follower. Thank you for your support, bro. And yeah, he gathers some precious information here. Um, a level still developed by our red. Uh, I'm facing a backlash on him and the PC players to link their scene how the PlayStation Network account. A feature that was previously optional. Yeah, and so let's see some of screen screens. Yeah, a bunch of people, you know. Um, uh, this move has bad controversy. It appears that there are already bots attempting to manage the fallout from this change. Whatever, this isn't the first time bots have been used to promote health errors too. Mm, interesting, man. So, I mean, bots are really invading our red, you know. That's bot propaganda, bro. I told you. That really looks like bot propaganda, bro. I told you, guys. I mean, literally, right? So, um... In March, bots praised the new war bound up there. She have posts that received... Uh, the question arises. The individual... Are individual social health service to Sony? Or place you behind these bots? Mm. And if so, what's their motivation? If you this in a video article, please be sure to grant me for learning and studying how these bots... Yo, Master of TDS, you have all the credits, man. I appreciate This isn't the first time you helped me out. I mean, with precious information. So thank you, man. Thank you for your work and for studying these bots, okay? Make sure you all make sure to hit this guy right here a follow, okay? He has some pretty good insights about this. All right, let's keep... So yeah, so he shared some print screens, you know, about these bots. Uh, yeah, excited for the new gear, excited new... Uh, yeah, bro, that's... Yeah. Bot propaganda right there, guys, literally, okay? And there's also this guy, Namos the Retuber. I don't know this guy, but he shared some... I mean, he shared a nice video. Not only that, but the community manager is in the game's Discord being generally trashy. Okay, let's watch this. Yes, it is real. Hmm. I just pulled this directly from their Discord. Pirate of Flanders. Living. Hmm. Oh, the you heard I was doing see back pedal lose. Uh, I thought you were in living. Oh man. So that's how they are answering. They're they're customers. Why 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 are so many game developers out there, you know, that treat their customers so badly? Oh, I was me. On the real Helldivers. Hmm. Let's, let's. You. I just pulled this directly from their Discord. Sorry, guys, it was muted. And if we look at the roles in that, they have the role of community manager on the official Discord. Hmm. That is a real message from the real community manager on the real Helldivers official Discord. Hmm. The context is that a player said this will kill the Helldivers 2 on Steam, backpedal or lose your player base. And the community manager said, I thought you were refunding and leaving. That's the most tone deaf shit I've ever seen. Who spits? That's a community manager, official community manager on their Discord. <sighs> Again, a community manager. They get no quarter from me. That doesn't. That I don't doesn't care if it was Sony. This is insane. Yeah. I have never seen a company shit on their player base actively in a time like this. That's insane, dude. That's toxic as shit. Nah. Nope. 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 Yeah, no. I don't know who this guy is, you know, who this streamer is, but man, uh, uh, why are there so many community managers that, you know, don't affect uh, us, us gamers, co customers? This is crazy, you know. The more I think about it, the more crazy it gets. I mean, they need us, right? They need us to give them money. And yet they treat us like trash, like shit. Um, maybe Arrowhead isn't aware of this, you know, community manager of what is happening over there. But still, man, this isn't the first time. In fact, this is kind of trained, right? I mean... We've seen so many community managers trading us, um, <laughs> their own games consumers like um, shit. So this is a, a new screenshot that just showed up and it is taken from the official Discord server of Helldivers 2. Uh, listen, I live in a country that does not have PSN network. Yes, bro. Exactly the issue that, that I just talked about with you guys. If I use VPN, VPN, I will. 
first of all, it's Sony's decision, not ours. So yeah, um, let's not hate Arrowhead, okay? Let's not hate Arrowhead. It's Sony is doing. The guy just confirmed it. You know, he's a community manager at Arrowhead uh, server. Let's not hate Arrowhead, okay? Sony is the is the, is the one we should hate at this point, right? I mean, not only I mean they just did what they did with Stellar Blade. Look at what they're doing now. So yeah. Uh, secondly, we don't have all the details about region-related issues yet. We're chasing Sony to get more info. So that's it. In my opinion, in my okay, in my in my opinion, that's just my opinion. Okay, if you are a gamer that play on PlayStation, that I mean, if you are a gamer who likes PlayStation, it's fine. Okay, but I would I would say to you, um, do not pay for PlayStation Plus network subscription anymore. And buy your games, uh, buy your buy buy your games through physical media, right? Do not give Sony the digital uh, store cut. Do not give Sony the subscription uh, money. You know, that's what I would do if I was a PlayStation gamer, and that's what I, that's what I recommend you doing. Of course, it is your decision. It's your money. You're free to do whatever you want. It's just my opinion. Okay. Yeah, so that's the situation. I mean, it's unfortunate that that it is happening with Helldivers 2. I just hope that Sony finds a way to let people that don't cannot create a PlayStation account because of because of their the fact that they are not available in their country uh, to keep playing the game. You know, to keep playing the game that they paid for, right? So that, that at the very least. Okay, so yeah, let's see what happens and well, that's all I had to say. Thank you guys for watching and supporting me. Ciao, ciao.